Well, hello, my loyal subjects. My name's King Wolfell. We have our super IBS uh, mega star, uh, Lady Katie. And it's time to go onward. All right. I swear to you, in this episode, we're going to unlock the upstairs. We're going to we're going to unlock that portal so I can just teleport there at the beginning of a run and I don't have to worry about it. I promise you. We're gonna do it. Remember when I promised you we were gonna beat Nama? Well, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> unlock that portal today. You have my ah! you have my word. Uh, it's my I never go back on my word. It's my Nindo my ninja way, and it's it's gonna all be hunky dory okie dokies. Pop. Believe it. What are you? Cost zero resolve. Cursed relic until purified any hit is taken is fatal. Collect one food points to purify this relic and gain 130. I have something to test real quick. Oh, I don't have. Never mind. I may have screwed up royally. I was going to see if healing counts as food points. Um, for the sake of, um,. Cheesing it. Oh, never mind. I f dope. I found I found uh, food in there. All right, that was uh, unfortunate, but it worked out. Yeah, get juggled, my guy. This is Street Fighter now. And Mick Rib is dead. <laughs> Why was his name Mick Rib? Um, but yeah, I forgot that I have super IBS instead of, uh... My healing. There we go. Ah! You stand no chance when all your moves get deflected by my trusty frying pan, you silly, silly goose. Ah, bop. And death to everyone. And then I go up here, and I get this, and then we go on our way. Man, I'm doing so well. It's almost like I'm. Oop, uh, that was a disgusting burp. Uh, it's almost like I'm in the beginner area where everything is. Ah! I was not. I was looking at the map and not what I was. Where I was walking. That was on me. I'm big dumb. Stinky heads. Eat my frying pan. Hello, sir! Oh, uh, do your thing again. Do it. Oh, I can't deflect that one. All right, you win that round, sir. Uh oh, smack. Oh well, that's on me. I'm getting a lot of gold though, which is really good for um that whole. That whole, um, save the portal thing that I was talking about. No. Bop. 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 Beep. Boxing gloves! Oh, I want them. But no. <laughs> I still, actually, you're going to be the best chef ever. Don't worry about it. Oh, I can. I've been able to. I was able to uppercut the last time I played boxer. The whole time. Uh, dashing leaves a poisonous cloud. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. That's a focus sash right there. Heck yeah. Ow. 
Ow. Pop. All right, and we're going this way because I need to find. Um, if I keep going left, there's got to be a way to go up, right? Because, yeah. Hello, friends. How is everyone? Poison cloud. Only good chefs give people poisoning. Oh, there's a way to go up here. All right, cool. Wow, that was surprisingly simple. And then we can drop down here to grab this coin. Uppercut. Yeah, I remember correctly. There's no, there's no uh, Doomvises in this area, so Doomvises for those who haven't played, uh, those floating, um, why, what, why, why, um, painting canvases. Um, those were in the first game, and they were, they were, when you were first playing the game, they were pretty annoying, and then they got like easy. They became like low tier easy enemies the more you played but it's weird to have them back and they're bigger now they're like big as heck um no oh, why did i do that why did i do that oh i teleported directly to the one i was at hey you lock down this portal please thank you all right Oh, I'm standing on spikes. That seems to be a problem. I did it again! Why am I like this? <laughs> Ow. Ow. You know what I just thought about? I can't uh, deflect things anymore, so good luck me. Ow. Ah! I can't, however, do that. I can just punch them away from me and make them not my problem anymore. <laughs> There's so many books for me to destroy. Readings for nerds. That's a genuinely a, one of my favorite... <laughs> There's the if, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a fun. It's funny. Uh, there's a dude. There's a lot of books to read in here. There's a video of a dude. He's wearing like a full like weightlifting belt, uh, tank top, shorts, walking through a library with a megaphone saying, "Readings for ner books are for nerds." And a librarian falling around going, "No." It's it's funny. At least I think it's funny as someone who likes working out and likes reading. Uh, the real problem, a visual agnosia. During a shift, massive chambers may be moved thousands of steps away from their original location. This has precipitated what researchers call the room problem. How does a room know it's a room? Why do rooms always connect cleanly rather than merge into a grotesque mess? We believe we know the answer. The room problem was partially solved during a visit to a, vill to a villager in the Kurgaluan Plateau who had reported that objects in the house had fused together in a formless way. The villagers suffered from visual agnosia, the inability to categor categorically recognize an object, which meant that he had difficulty identifying a table as a table. Interestingly, the only objects that fused were the man's most personal effects, which he kept in a private room. The moment I entered and observed the objects, however, their fusing stopped. It is as if there was a collective unconscious in the world that determines what is, a what is and isn't. But this raises more questions. Is the identity of an object solely reliant on the observer, or is the subconscious group think? As more observers from a, from become aware of a room, does the room become more vulnerable to the shift? 
Is this why Lamech's hidden chamber seems immune to shifting? Only he and I know where it is, and we both have a very concrete understanding of what it is. Thus, it never changes. Sure. What you said. Properties of the Black Root and their future applications. You sift through the documents to find an earmarked page. Eureka, I've discovered that transitive properties of black roots can be used to bind objects to a person's soul. After some lengthy experimentation, I've successfully bound the souls of Higher Murmur and the Gongheads, twins to my study doors. The collective life force now ensures that doors remain impenetrable even to the craftiest of locksmiths. Truly fascinating. Note to stuff, stop calling Anastasia and Zoe the Gongheads, they are still family after all. The possible applications of this discovery are endless. I could bind my siblings to the golden door and free the need for soldiers to stand guard. Or I could bind a soul to the treasure chest and create a perfect assistant. I could even bind a soul to an eggplant and make it walk around. Hmm, I guess I could just make a really complicated door lock. So he's giving me insights into the lock on his door to get to fight him. I forgot, I didn't read that title. Against my better judgment, we have added philosophers and free thinkers to our research groups. To my surprise, they have helped us expand the ways we've been examining our world. Just don't tell them that. Of all the ideas they've pitched, the one that piques my interest the most is their unified soul theory. In, in general, it abandons the assumption that we are all individual souls. So what if we each had our own soul, but on a metaphysical level, they were all interconnected? The ramifications of this theory are far-reaching. If we are all interconnected, then why do we re really... To then do we really have to transfer the soul from one vessel to another? Could we not bind one soul to a multiple objects? If we are connected, does harming others bring harm to ourselves? Nice philosophical lore drop for everybody in this episode. Um, I read all three of these, right? Yes. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and now we have a lot of ways to go. Ah, uh, you're not my problem anymore. Because you're over there. Ah! A mimic! Rude. I'm assuming those coins were evil. Because they were glowing and green. Like a Disney villain. Or, honestly, a Spongebob villain. Spongebob villains glow green, too. I'm namely the dirty bubble, but I can't get to you. So are you just a thing I have to just avoid? Seems like you're just a thing I have to avoid. Whoop. I'm assuming we will get a new power here eventually. Hmm. Alright, this, that, I don't like that room. Transmogrificator. Randomize your weapon, spell, and talent. Deal 7% more damage and gain 20 bonus resolve. And another, the same one we got before. Yep! Let's go. I already have really random stuff, so. Okay, we got a Dragon Lance, which I didn't like, but now has done good for us, so I like it. And we have the, uh, the Ronin thing. And we have the Shield Throwy thing. All right, I'm sure that's what they wanted it to be. Ah! And okay, okay, I'm angry now. I'm sad and angry. Ah! Okay. Well, that was big stinky, and now I'm big stinky sad. And I don't have. The, I'm no longer a chef, basically, so we're, there's that. Didn't even start with my normal chef healing ability. They made the books hard to get on ground RT to dash in the direction you are moving. Well, I know that. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I know that. I know how the game works. Yeah. Oh, because if you jump on top of those, you don't pass. You can't pass through them. Oh, oh, yep. Here we are. Here's a new power. Destroy the book. I have no health. So let's see how this goes. The heirloom is silent. 
Add to the heirloom? Sure, let's go. Seems like a good thing to do this episode. Visit the quest tab in the pause menu for additional beans. Into void dashes. Oops. Oops. Oh. Oh. I can ex Oh, this is awesome. Oh, so those doors, which I didn't even try and go through before, were. It was between a void thing, so I had. I would have had to have had this to get through it. Also, this says I can go through void moves, like the. Uh, the. You no, know, the. The big, sorty, bossy dudes that like to. Um, they slam on the ground and you get the two big, like. Uh, Like, void slashes coming at you? Yeah, that. What he just did. I can apparently pass through that. Oh, yes! And I can dash through them. I can't break them, though. Right, I already figured that out. So I can I can jump, void dash, and then jump again. Heck yeah! Okay. Hi. I'm bouncing off of these resets my dashes, dude. Oh, well. Thank you. This is probably the coolest power I've gotten so far. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, that's so cool. Palace's Void Bell. Oh, that's so cool. And now, I am the greatest of all time. As I completely realize that I need to... Bruh. That I need to go up here. Woo! So now, actually, now that I think about it, I can go... Well, I can go get hurt, is what I can do. I can... Where is it? This room here. I can... Do that. Okay, so before, this room has a relic. Uh, I don't want either of those, actually. <laughs> this one has a relic. I feel like we're about to fight something, so let's take some HP. Hello! I don't want to read! Let's break a bunch of stuff. Okay. So, unbeknownst to you, you were getting a, a giant lore drop when you signed in for this episode. So let's start tart right, top right, let's go! Dusty tones to the shelves with nothing about. Oh, so I get. Never mind. One of these has to say something, right? There's no way they locked this behind. Oops. Is this just like lore to show like, look how s much this one studied. He's so smart and cool. Oh, there we go. Analytical breakdown of paint and their differing drying speeds based on their application on unique surfaces and room temperatures. Volume one of 10. 
My guy, I sell paint for a living. That's literally what I do. I work at a retail store where I sell and mix paint. I would not have the time to research. 10 volumes? That title should keep most prying up. Okay, there you go. These are the personal journal entries of Estuary Enoch. If you are not me, then your actions are considered a capital crime. If you are me, then please continue reading. It has been nearly 1,000 years since we were first sent down there here to tend the garden, but the tree is yet to bear fruit. Each year during the ceremony of return, my siblings and I congregate and open the garden gates in hopes of finding a bud. But every time we are met only with disappointment. According to historical documents, the tree should have born fruit decades, born fruit decades ago, yet it remains barren. I doubt our toil will be rewarded, but Estuary Irad does not share my cynicism. He is loyal to a fault and will do anything for his king. Even if that means damning us for eternity. Unless I can prove to him no fruit will ever grow, we shall be stuck here for another thousand years. Okay. Lore! Thank you for the lore, I guess. <laughs> that was very disrespectful on my part, but it was fun. Oops. Oops. So I guess I can't... Oh, you're a mimic. Hey, you! Bad! Fun fact, mimics are my favorite, like, fantasy... like, creature. I love mimics. I love the concept of mimics. Although I love Mimics, but I've yet to make my... I run a D&D campaign. I've yet to make my people fight a Mimic. I love them. I gotta do it right. I gotta do it justice. It's gotta be a broken Mimic with extra powers. Bam. Wombo combo. Uh, okay, well... <laughs> he jumped into spikes. What a silly goose. I've never done that, ever. Ah! Don't do that. That was scary. Ah! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I'm back. I'm gone again. There we go. All right, I got a teleporter again. Oh, where are you? this is the boss room. So I think we're at 22 minutes. Let's just full on commit to fight to fighting this boss and see how it goes. Let's figure out how to open this door. Can't believe I left my notes behind. I can't complete my research without them. I can't get past these void doors without Palace's heirloom. I doubt the guards will fetch my notes for me. So perhaps I should try carrying Palace's favor on my own. She's somewhere in the study and her power of the void would be well. I already got that. There's no way this is just the boss door, right? About to find out! Let's destroy books immediately. Let's make him angry. He seems like a giant nerd, so... The whispering's really creepy, gotta admit. Okay, you know what? I don't know why I felt the need to break all those, but I did. I... was not paying attention. Yep, you know what? I'm bad at video games. This infestation, I've seen it before. Condemn the archives, gather what you can, and start barricading the hallways. Whatever infested the bodies in the gatehouse has found its way here. Spread the word and keep the guards on watch. The scholars here are lost. Oh, that's horrifying. That's the only thing I have to break those, by the way. That's why I'm doing that. Okay. Um, um,
I gotta focus. I'm not talking because I'm focusing. Murmur, you're a you're an enemy. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, I'm gonna die of this. I'm gonna fully die of this. Was that a full boss? What was that? Void Beast defeated. So are Void Beasts just like extra bosses? Like a simple start. Your empathetic connection has been improved. Max handicap for the scar challenge has been raised. So like the Void Beasts I beat before. So, so Void Beasts are just extra bosses on top of the extra. I'm so confused. There's oh, so there's two void beasts for this area. It looks like, and then there's a door. So I had to beat. Okay, so he was okay. Okay, I think I know what's going on. He was talking about his sons and stuff before, right? Or his siblings or something. He was talking about family before. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He was talking about family before, like Vin Diesel. So, looks like those whatever those family members were to them became the void beasts. Became these two void beasts because I'm about to fight this other one and it's gonna destroy me. These ones. Ow. I'm fully. By the way, that bell. I'm fully avoiding all of these like death hits for some reason. Like it's not letting me die. So I might actually beat these void beasts. Nope, never mind. If I had beaten both void beasts because of that bell, that would have been dope. Did I just fart my way off screen because I had uh, the bowel thing for a while? All right, cool. So it looks like lore wise, which I haven't been have focusing. I've been listening to the lore and reading the lore and, and taking the lore. But as this is a let's chill and not a let's play, I haven't been discussing the lore too much. So, but it seems like this estuary, um, I have to beat both of those guys to unlock this estuary's door. Um, uh, compulsive gambling? Nope, I'm good. Um, you become disarmed with stress? I'm good. We'll take you hero complex. I don't know what hero complex does, but. All right, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll see you again on this skill tree in the future. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.